Hi, I'm Dean. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and Enterprise Mobility MVP. I've been working with Endpoint Management for over 15 years now, and in this course I'm going to help you get started with Intune, whether that be from the very basics of setting up your own tenant, or some of the more advanced and complex topics such as autopilot or conditional access. First, let's talk about what Microsoft Endpoint Manager is and why I called it Intune. So MEM, or Microsoft Endpoint Manager, is an umbrella product. And within it, there are two Microsoft products that support Endpoint Management. So we have Configuration Manager and Intune. So Configuration Manager is an on-premise solution that allows the management of Windows clients and servers, as well as Unix and MacOS. It's based on an agent being installed on those devices and it used to be known as System Center Configuration Manager. Now, it's known as Microsoft Endpoint Manager Configuration Manager. Intune, on the other hand, is the cloud version of Config Manager, except it doesn't do the same things as Config Manager and it doesn't do them in the same way. It didn't even really start off being the cloud version of Config Manager either. It was initially developed by a completely different team in Microsoft for a completely different purpose to what Configuration Manager was designed for. Intune used to be called Windows Intune. Now it's a sub-product of Microsoft Endpoint Manager and it's just called Intune. A couple of years ago, Microsoft brought together the teams responsible for Configuration Manager and Intune under the same umbrella. So it made sense for them to put the products themselves under that same umbrella too. Anyway, this course is about Intune, so let's stick with that. In the next video, what we're going to do is create our first Intune tenant. If you already have an Azure tenant with Intune enabled, then we're all good to go and you can skip that video and move on to the next one. But for now, let's jump into that video and create our tenant.